Hello, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make commands using the listener adapter in JDA. So to get started, we need to get the JDA object and we need to do jda.addEventListener and let's make new rows command. So it's going to come out that we don't, that the class doesn't exist and it's fine. We need to just create class. We need to put the package. Let's go for commands. I go okay. The next thing we need to do is extend the class by listener adapter. And once we've got that, all we need to do is find the event we're looking for. So we need to go use on guild message received. And now it works the same, literally the same way as JDA utilities. It just JDA utilities have a bit more features, but we can we can get the same result using listener adapter. So the first thing we need to do, we need to check for the message. Actually, we need to get the argument. So we need to do, make a string array, let's call it args, which is going to equal to event, which get message, which is the message that got sent. We need to get the content. We need, want to split it every space. So let's say rows this would be argument zero this would be argument one this would be two this would be three this would be four and so on but if we were to use uh, if we use args dot length it would be one this would be two this would be three this would be four so okay so once we got this working we need to check if the argument zero equals ignore case so if it equals this string but for example if we had a like let's say this it would still count as this it would still work so if it does equal rows we want to we want to get the user so we want to do member uh, let's look for member 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 m which is gonna equal to event we'll get number So now, let's say we want to event dot get message dot delete. We don't need to put the reason. We need to do sq. And let's say m. And let's reply to that member with rows. But let's use an embed builder. So let's do embed builder builder equals new embed builder and now we want to set the color so it works with hex it works with RGB color dot uh, where was it? RGB there we go so let's go for color uh, color there we go and let's go for this green now let's set the footer to for example YouTube 
bot and let's do event get gda get self user get battery url and now we need to add a field and say here are our rows so let's go one no swearing row number two oh yeah row number two let's say no race song and go on you can keep on going all the rows you want so the last thing is if you want the embed to be in line which I don't want it to be and we can set the title and let's say uh, rows once we got this we need to say m let's get user open private channel we want to complete the action then you want to send the message which is gonna equal to builder dot build because we want to build our embed and have a beautiful message and you want to queue And when we run it and type in rows, let's wait for the bot, bot to turn on. Bot enabled in three seconds, okay. So now, if we go to the Discord and say rows, we'll get a message. Rows, here are our rows. No swearing, no racism. And we get YouTube bot. Wait, I, think, uh, did I miss something? Why did that not work? Oh, I think to the recent embed changes. Oh well, it doesn't work like that anyway. But yeah, you can also remove. Oh god. We can remove this, leave it blank. And I guess if you say our, our guild rows and we run it. And say rows again we got this tiny gap that looks kind of nicer I guess I made that horrible now oh well I hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave a like and leave suggest suggestions for the next episodes in the comments. See you later.